Hello and welcome back to Boring Dead Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Botany Manor. Um, yeah, I'm going to be completely honest in saying that um, the first three episodes I played all in, in, in a single game session, so everything kind of flowed quite naturally into one another. This is the following day, and I've kind of, <laughs> kind of forgotten, the, you know, the kind of gist of the clues that I was kind of getting towards um, in terms of... Uh, what plants respond to what? So we're in the boathouse now. I can see there's some seeds here. Let's grab those. This is uh, Ocelet. Okay. So let me quickly look at what other ones I've got. Um, Fool's Emeralds. So I think we're getting towards... Uh, oh yes, a Morse code thing for that. I, uh, in this boathouse... Oh no, I've got the... Um, I've got the Morse code machine now. So that should be this done, right? I also think we have to be in the little cave that we've opened up to do that, so that's fine. That'll probably be the next thing I do, to be honest. Other clues I've got. Bird poster. Bird seeds. Uh, I think... Yeah. I'm not sure, I'm not sure yet which ones the birds relate to. We've got some... Um... How do I... Do I, how do I play one of these? Ah! So we've obviously got one that's going to respond to music. I'm not sure yet. I mean, I assume it's the one I just got the seeds for. Ah, I'm going to go turn that off. It's a bit loud, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. back to that another time. Animal husbandry and rehabilitation for all work with animals domesticated and wild. Animal heartbeat rates in BPM. Okay, interesting. Ah, we'll come back to that, but I expect have these got a beats per minute on them? I pick that up. Can I? Ah, if I press I, here we go. BPMs, there we go. So, I suspect the third plant will be something to do with that. Got a board game here. Uh, let's have a look at this letter first. Foraging Critters Game Rules. Shuffle the food cards and place the stack face down in the centre of the game board. Place the food tokens around the food cards on the board. Place the animals on the start tile. Place choose their animals by rolling the dice. Highest roll it goes first. Uh, okay. You land on a grey squirrel tile, it steals all of your food tokens. Uh, woodland cards. Rabbit, wood mouse, red squirrel, red squirrel, hedgehog. Okay, I don't get it. Acorn. Rabbit. Hedgehog. Is that. It might be something to do with clues about the types of animal, animal, and it might be to do with this grey squirrel. North American grey squirrel is larger than the red and with small ears. It forages food, but can also digest some seeds right away. Red squirrels live in nests high up in the trees. They sometimes forage food back to the nest. So there was that note about the grey squirrel earlier. And the red squirrel. Um... So there could be, and there's something. One of the one of them is to do with uh, colours, isn't it? I wonder if that's related to the red squirrel. Maybe not sure. Let's have a look. William Foley. Okay, um, stuff we've bought. Ah, dear Lady Arabella, thank you for your order. As discussed, we will write again in the coming months to inform of a delivery date for these school supplies. All the best, W. Foley. Hmm. What have we got here? How weeds spread. Weeds can take over an area quite rapidly. Some weeds have adapted in order to spread their seeds as far away as possible. <clears throat> uh, wood avens and goosegrass, dandelions, other plants such as lord and ladies wrap their seeds in an attractive berry which birds consume and later deposit as waste a great distance away. As a final note, more mysterious example is the seed of the Ocelette. Here we go. It is known to be picked up by critters who then take it back to their nest. As soon as the animal goes to sleep, the seed sprouts into bloom. It is not quite understood how the plant is able to detect when the creature is asleep. That's got to be the BPM, hasn't it? Uh, 
So we've got to work out what animal takes the seed because we've got quite a few variants here that gives us a sleep BPMs as well. Okay, so these this is all linked to the uh, oscillate, isn't it? Let's have a look. Um, so we've got animal heartbeats, weeds and seeds. I guess it's the board game. Okay, so I should have everything I need. Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so which is the gray squirrel one? For, so this one, it's not a gray, it won't be the gray squirrel. Uh, live in nests high up in the trees. They sometimes forage food back to the nest to keep for later, so it's got to be the red squirrel. Um, these probably ruled out as well. Grazing... Yeah, I mean, it's going to be the squirrel because of the seed thing. Very small, live in woodlands, but also many of them have... I think it's going to be the red squirrel. Hmm. Was, there a, uh, was there a potting table nearby? We could give that a go now. Is there one down here? No. Uh, oh, no, there is. Okay. I have to move the uh, box there for now. That's our Morse code thingy. Um, so, we're going to put in the soil. We're going to put an oscillate. Water it. Right. Let's see. So, BPMs on the red squirrel are sleeping 120. Have we got have we got 120 on any of these things? Uh, yes, it's the, it's the first one I picked up, which is quite convenient. Okay, let's give this a go then. It's looking good. Is beating in time to the music. Sweet! Got our select. The oscillate seed is picked up by small animals such as the red squirrel, who then store it inside their nests. Once the animal falls asleep, the oscillate depends on the depends upon the heartbeat vibrations to break open and bloom. Okay. Sweet. Nice. Okay. I think the next thing to do then is the uh, Morse code. In terms of clues, uh, I mean, the only remaining ones must go with this, surely. So we've got bird poster, uh, bird seeds, and it must be the pot catalogue. I'm not quite sure yet how we're going to put all that one together. Um, so we might have to have a think about that after the Morse code one, because I think we know what we're doing here. Letters K-A in Morse code in the cave should be what we need. Run back. Yeah, the other one's to do with colours. I'll have to have a... Th I must admit, when I was gathering the clues for that, I, I was filing it all under, we'll think about later. <laughs> I can't quite wrap my head around it just yet. Um, so that time is fast approaching. But um, let's, just, let's just take care of this first. I'll pop this down first, and um, then we'll go and pot up the plant. Which is just over here. Can I get it this way? I can. Alright, so we've got the pot. Got the soil. This is... Uh, Fool's Emerald, I think, isn't it? Right. Let's get in the... Let's get in the little cave bit. Right, open you... Oh, no, I wanted to open you up. There we go. So we want K... Oh, hang on. K, which is dash dot dash, A dot dash. So it's dash dot dash dot dash. Five in total, beginning with a dash, alternating. Uh, okay, so we want... What does this thing do? Let's just close. So dash 
dot dash dot dash. I done it right. Hey. That's pretty cool. Look at that. The Fool's Emerald is a vine that contains luc luciferin, which allows it to create light. They grow in caves where they use the light to communicate with, e with each other. Very much like Morse code. Hmm. So, this one. Okay, we're going to have to think about this one. I might have to read the clues again. So we should pot it up first, though. I th oh, mind you, different pots. There was something about different pot types, wasn't there? I forget what that was now. Uh, God, it's not just remembering the clues, it's remembering where they were, too. What's this? All right, that's the Morse code. We got that tap. Is there something in here? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are different materials. So, we need to know what the right material is for the plant. Hmm. I don't recall finding anything of, along those lines. There's something here as well. Ooh. I feel like this one might be complicated. If I was to take this and pop it down here... Do these then become active? They don't. Hmm. Okay, so what, what, so greetings card we should probably have a look at. Um, my range is the bird poster. Let's see, soil pH, pot catalog. So was there, was there, any, there was no information on the pot catalog, was there? New materials. That's all it says. Hmm. Okay, well, let's start at the beginning. Let's go and get that greetings card. Have a look what that says. No, that was up here. I got some of this other stuff as well. Chemical composition. So that's just the luciferin, isn't it? Well, we, we, we've done that. Uh, this is the bioluminescence book. That's fine. We've done the bioluminescent one. Elsewhere, I've only ever seen it... Okay, so grew so abundantly in your garden. So that could be the clue. I've n only ever seen it growing as a small seedling. Uh, certain spring dance shall... To mature... Require pollination to mature. Okay, well... I think it's going to be something about which pot we start with. Um, hmm. Is there anything here? Yeah. That's the bioluminescent clue. Okay, so what else have we got? Side terrace, the pigment research. That, that's the side terrace. I didn't see it there. I presume it is somewhere. Is this the side terrace? Unless it's... Hang on, let's have a look at the map. Side Terrace is 20. Yeah, that's where we are. Okay, so the, the colour research should be here then. I'm not seeing. It's not, it is, it isn't that. So what? Hmm. Pigment research and soil pH research. Side terrace. I... I don't know. I, is it? Hmm. 
Ugh. I'm assuming it's in this area somewhere. I think we just proceed through. I don't think it's going to be in this area. Could be wrong. It's probably worth a look up there just in case. Oh, what's this? Yeah, it doesn't mention the one I'm currently trying to do. You know, it'd be useful if the journal just reproduced the clues that you find. That would be really helpful. <laughs> I think that this game is possibly one that's best played in a single sitting. Because um, I think otherwise... Um, if, you, if you take a break, even just overnight, it can be... Well, I anyway have found that it can be a bit... Tricky to find out, remember where you got stuff from. Interesting where that gate, where does that gate go to? Does that lead, I think it leads down to the boathouse. It might be, it might be worth trying to open that up. We're going to head down that direction anyway, I think. Let's go through the formal garden. And we'll just try and, is that a thing to pick up? It isn't, okay. It's not one of the ducks. Right, is there anything here? Probably. I don't know there was something here. It might just have been a seed packet, though. Uh, on that table? It's up here. This feels like the area I need to be in. Something to do with that bird. I'm going to have a little look around here, I think. Oh, okay, so it's counting this as the side terrace, apparently. This is what I wasn't after. Okay, soil pH. <clears throat> so we can use the pots and these things. Oh, God, I w I'm, too, I'm actually going to use my phone. I'm going to take a picture of this and so I can refer back to it. <laughs> And I don't have to run back and forth because obviously the, the the stuff is like way over the other side of the garden. Um, okay, so I've got a note of that. Um, pH levels, spring dance shrub. Mm, okay, I'm going to take a picture of that as well. Uh, Is it literally just to do with the pH levels? That's a rude letter. Not nice rude, a nasty rude letter. Um, now we have another bird carrier here. Garden birds. I know there's a robin on the loose. Just like bees, birds can pollinate flowers. You know the birds have a preference to pollinate flowers of certain colours. Okay, so this is moving into the mature phase. Okay, I think this is a two-stage thing. So I think we worry about um, the pH in the right pot first. Um, when we're planting it up. Oh, I'll just have a look at this stuff again, because I know once I know what pH we're looking for, obviously... Maybe it could flower into any of this and we just need to pick the right one in which case it's either 7 to 12 or 12 to 14 depending on if we want pink or red I think we need to look at that bird thing again and see what the robin is attracted to is it pink or is it red I'm thinking it's red I just want to confirm this uh, 
Well, I mean, it's in a section literally titled Red Flowers. So I think we, I think we can take that to mean that it's red. So if I look at my BH thing again. Uh, red. So the red is 12 to 14. And I'll look at the other one. So to get to a 12 to 14, we need to... There's only one combination that is in the range of 12 to 14. And that's sandstone pot with a seaweed thingy. Okay, I think we know what we're doing now. And I think then we're going to have to lure the robin down in stages. And we're going to need to do it by alternating the bird feeders. Because I think if we get near a bird feeder, it runs off. Flies off. Um, yeah. So, I need to go to the PH station, which was... Is it, it's here, isn't it? Remind myself, it's sandstone. And sandstone is the kind of yellow spotty one. This one. Okay. So we're going to pot up in here. Uh, spring dance, yes. A bit of water in. Oh god, okay. I'm going to have to toss that. Uh, right. Redo. Okay, so let's put the uh, soil and the seed in. I'm not going to water it yet, though. Let's take that over, because we're going to need to add seaweed to this. Hoping those little jars become interactable once I put this down. Yes. So, seaweed. Right. Now this should bloom red. Hey. Okay. Now, I guess I need to take this all the way down to that. Uh, I don't quite get it, but I'm going to kind of follow my... Uh, instinct on this one, which is instantly wrong, as I've come the wrong wrong way. Yeah, I've come the wrong way. Okay. Up here. So I think what we have to do. And it might be a little bit tedious. Is pop it down here. And I think we're going to have to make a route for the robin to get there on this hangar. Yeah. Uh, it seems to me like we've got a kind of, because I've got this other bird feeder here, and I can pick both up, then I'm just going to have to sort of multi-stage it, I think. It's got seeds in already. Do I, do I need to do it? No, yeah, that's just to look at, I think. <clears throat> <coughs> oh, God. Sense of direction is appalling. It's actually, it's generally not too bad. It's in, it's, for some reason, it's in games, it looks bad. Uh, so if he goes there, then I think we need to, instead of going home, make him go there. Hello? How do I... Do I just move out of the way? Will you go there? I was kind of expecting the robin to hop down to the feeder. Hello? Okay. Well. Um. Hmm. I don't know why this bird is not coming down. Oh! Which one are you going to? This one? Sweet. Okay. So, let's say, would you like to come over here? Here we go. Right, I think the next one's this side of these bushes. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
try not to scare it, because I don't know if he does get scared off and you have to just start again, potentially. I'm just gonna, like, give him some space. No. Oh, yeah, you see those little shock lines? Is it too far? Oh, no. Now, I'm concerned about going down those stairs, so I'm gonna come down these stairs instead. Uh, there's one right here. And again, I'm gonna just go around in a circuit. Don't want to scare the little birdie off. Is he gone? He's gone. Likewise, we're going to have to come round again, I think. Um, so I presume we just... He shouldn't get scared there, so let's just pop this here. We'll back up. And yeah, we should be okay to go grab this one. I don't want to go through that little archway, so I'm going to come round this way again. And go through here. This one. Gonna leave him alone. Ching. Where is he? He's there at the moment. So let's get him here. I think I should. Hmm. I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, 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 oh! We get a little warning. I didn't. I'm not going to risk that again, though. So let's let's go around the, around the houses a little bit. Um. So there's one outside the little pagoda -y type thing. We'll let him go there. And there's one inside. Hang on, let's get around these bushes. And I think there's a little side door here, so I'm going to come in this way. And we're going to pop that up there. And hopefully magic will happen. Oh, is he going? It's gone, I think. Did it happen? Hey! Look at that. Birdies. That's cute. The spring dance shrub contains anthocyanins, causing it to change colour depending on the pH level of its environment. Interesting. For the spring dance, like for the spring dance, lichen causes a red petal colour. Robins love red flowers and will often enjoy its company. Hey. Something at the gatehouse, huh? Interesting. Well, I think I might do, in order to get there, I'm going to go via the boathouse and I'm going to open up that last shortcut. Just for completionism, really. Like, that's obviously a shortcut to the to the, uh, the gatehouse, but I'm going to do it this way. It just, it bothers me that I think I've discovered a shortcut and I haven't opened it up, so... It's pretty much going to lead us back to where we just were. That's okay. Or possibly a last chance to admire the garden and looks of the game. I think it would be up here, no? So I, I didn't think, oh well, I don't know why I didn't think this was something, but it is something. We go up here. And we come out here. Okay, I'm going to the gatehouse. I'm just taking a really long roundabout way of doing it. Uh, it's probably quickest at this point to go through the formal garden. Because um, there is that direct shortcut to the front area. I know, I'm going to the gatehouse. Sorry, it's just a very big garden. I'm not going to run for this last bit, let's just soak it up. I'm assuming it's the end. I know it was a fairly short game. Very pretty game. Ooh. Ooh, what have we got? Lady Arabella, I apologise wholeheartedly for... for ex oh no, no, that was the letter that was here anyway. What we have to do... Is pop our, pop our book in here. Our book's finished. We've done it. Now, 
there we go. <laughs> so that was the end of the game. I mean, hang on, let me just, um, oh, I was going to say, can I turn the music down? It might be a little bit loud. Um, but yeah, I'm just, uh, hang on, I'm, I'll do it. There we go, just turn the music down. Um, yeah, I was going to say, I really enjoyed that. It was, um, I mean, I, lo I love puzzle games anyway. I love sort of having to think through a, uh, a problem and find a solution. Uh, it was pretty good. They, it, was, it was obviously a lot of variety in the puzzles. Every plant sort of had a different uh, secret to unlocking it, which uh, I enjoyed discovering. It's a very pretty game. Obviously, lovely gardens and stuff to move through. Nice big house and stuff. Um, and... But ultimately, also, it didn't kind of outstay its welcome. You know, if that had been a 10-hour game, I think by the end of it, you'd probably been thinking, oh, <laughs> I kind of just want to get through it. But at four hours, three, three and a half, four hours, I think it's probably about the perfect length, actually. Um, so, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it, and I hope you did, too. Um, if you did, if you could hit the thumbs up button, that'd be fantastic. You could uh, leave me a comment. Just let me know what you thought about the game and this playthrough as a whole. And, um, yeah, if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be amazing if you could do that, too. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, I hope you'll stick around on the channel for other games, other playthroughs. Got lots of stuff coming up that I'm very happy to be playing. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of talking in the thought that there might be a post credit scene. I'm just waiting. But I think it's going to go back to the main menu. Oh, no. Oh, I'm glad I stuck around. <laughs> control. Alright. What have we got? What have we got? Green School of Botany. Hey, we've opened our own school. Lady Arabella Green. Um, presented to Lady Arab Arab Arabella Green by the Women's Education Union on the occasion of opening the Green School of Botany. Aww. That's cool. She's turned her library into a schoolroom look. They're studying her herbarium. She did. Oh, that's very cute. Got a bell, we've got a little apple. Forgotten flora. Air purifying flowers. Windmill water. Remember, that was the first one we unlocked. Um, so we've got Eliza, Jessica, Catherine, Ada, Mary, and Thomasina. Aww. Uh, I could ring the bell. Teacher's apple. <clears throat> oh, what's this? My dear Flora, I'm terribly sorry your herbarium didn't get picked up for publishing, though I am most excited about your new plans to turn Botany Manor into a botanical academy. I look forward to visiting the school and meeting the talented students you've taken under your wing. Let's hope they carry on our fight. Lots of love, Elizabeth. P.S. Arabella, I hope you don't mind me still calling you by your childhood pet name, Flora. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, that's really cool. Her nickname is Flora, meaning, you know, plants. Inspect. Yeah, so we can have a look through our book. Uh, oh, can I not? Oh, I can't look through it. That would have been quite cool. I do with it. Oh, I, oh. I can look through it. Look at that. Hey, that was sweet. I like a little post credit scene, I must admit. <laughs> it feels satisfying just to get everything kind of, you know, just rounded off a little bit like that. Very nice touch. Um, yeah, well, I've done my sign-off already, so I'm just going to say thanks very much for watching once again, and I hope to see you elsewhere on the channel. Bye for now. <laughs>